Hello folks, it's Driver Films on the Driver Film Shortwave channel and today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to program our repeater VIN to the Aizu FT-857D uh, I'm going to use a Stafford IP repeater, GB3 IP because it's the one I use most often so there are certain things you need to know about repeaters there's an input frequency, an output frequency a shift and there is a DC TSS tone which, which basically means that once you key up it sends that tone out it activates the repeater if you don't have the correct tone it won't open up so the first thing we're going to do is select the correct frequency so Stafford IP is 1457625 so 25 we're going to lock the dial for a second so I don't knock it. Then we're going to press the function button, this one down here. Just a warm touch will do. Use the select knob to select the frequency you want. Now you have to do it quickly because it won't work. Take two. Just one press get the function menu and you can twist that around so where it says repeat press and hold the A button and it comes up with the repeater shift so you can select using the tuning wheel so the repeater shift for IP repeater is 60 megahertz press the function button, long press it now we need to, to tell the radio whether it's a positive shift or a negative shift IP repeat is a negative shift so with the A button again press it once for negative press it once again for positive press it again to give it no shift so it's a negative shift so we've got that so far now we need to open up the repeater next so press function once, use the select button on this side and turn it till it says got this option turn and TDCH. Now if you're unsure of, of what tone it needs, press and hold the C button and it'll keep cycling those through until somebody keys up the repeater and it detects the tone and says, aha, that's the tone you want. And I'm going to demonstrate this because I'm going to get the uh, GT3 handheld radio. Okay, it's still looking for the tone, so I'm going to key up. And hopefully that should have saved it. Alternatively, as the radio falls over, press the tone button one, press and hold the tone button. And you, you can select it that way. So the IP repeater works on a tone of 103.5 So long press the function button And it's already got TEN And if you consult the manual there's, there it shows TEN Tone, coded squelch Etc, etc For this one we we'll need a temp Turn the volume up a bit And if you've got this right we should have some beeping and nine times out of ten it does say this is stuff a GP3 IP repeater beep 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 let's hold it this is GP3 IP and there we have it we have successfully programmed the ASO 857D into the stuff of GP3 GB3 sorry, IP repeater fairly simple it took me absolutely ages to try and sort it out it was annoying me quite a bit and you can always tell you got the right things programmed in obviously it beeps like it tells you some repeaters don't if you not look at the display that when I key the mic up it shows the correct shift the frequency you saw there 
that's the transmit frequency so that's the one you talk on the frequency it's showing now is the one it outputs on so this is one you listen to key up talking to the microphone you never do a CQ call on repeater because you get ignored or people just tell you you're doing it wrong so basically that's it I'm not going to put any calls out because I have work to do like, like uh, Kevin making videos etc anyway that's it for now until next time to, to get to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you're new here and are interested in radio don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified when the next video comes up and is available and until next time thanks for watching and 73